What's up, YouTube? Chris here with Chrono Class Central. It's been a while. Apologize for that. Hope you guys can forgive me. Um, it's been kind of busy here, and uh, just to be frank, Godzilla not really floating my boat in terms of uh, how the game feels to play. Like, not, not super loving it. But we got a lot of new news about the two sets you see right down there. The themed deck sets, the expansions on Naruto, we got a lot of new news for that. So let's just get into the juicy stuff, okay? We've got the rules The rules came out for it. So there's a few important things you want to see here. You want to see that uh, the, what we got, we got reinforcements, we got legion, we got toughness, sneak attack, elusive, transform, and time threshold, which are the, the, the new uh, abilities. But you'll notice that protector is gone and last stand are gone. So chopping, chopping blocked. Get out of here. So, of course, you guys want to know the most important thing, transform. I speculated it would be a swap mechanic. Um, it is, but it, it works a little bit differently than I thought. Basically, you can tap one of your battlers that could attack, return it to your hand, and then you play the transform battler and you put it into play attacking, even if it's no longer your turn. But you have to pay the cost of the transform battler, um, and then, of course, you get to play any triggers. So. That's really important because, ooh, this is actually really interesting, but we'll get to that. So basically it's very similar to sneak attack, but it's a little bit more fair if you ask me, because you've got to have a monster on the field, you've got to tap it to you know, activate the ability, but then you get something from your hand. From, from your hand. So with that kind of ability, with transform happening, I don't know, I don't really understand, I gotta be honest, I don't know why sneak attack is in there. But anyway, the other ability, time threshold, this is much different than I thought it was. I was uh, totally wrong on this one. So when you summon a battle with time threshold, if you you're put your opponent over the threshold time, you get to play the summon effect again, okay? So you get double activations on your ability. So that is insane, okay? That is insane. So I'm excited. Um, after we talk about the rules, we'll go over some of the cards we've been revealed, and there's a little few more cards in the rules themselves that we can look at as well. So time threshold... Mm, that looks that's really excited. I'm excited to know what it is. So um, Sneak attack so so to, to tie it in a little bit more um, It there are some changes in here. Okay, there's some some other rules changes in here um, I don't think sneak attack got changed um, which is a little upsetting to me, but um, I want some clarification on this. Well, hopefully we'll get it soon sneak attack um, May not uh, trigger any abilities so so transform, you get summon and attract, attack trigger effects, okay? It says that specifically in the transform, but it doesn't say that for sneak attack. So you might assume you don't get that for sneak attack anymore. Anyway, uh, oh, but the nice thing about transform is you get to keep it after sneak attack. So they're a little bit different. Uh, reinforcements had a major update. Um, re when this battle is destroyed while it's on the battlefield, you may summon a battler or an extra deck battler from your hand, and that costs less than this battler. So it says less, not less than or equal to like it did before. So you have to go down a notch. You have to go down a notch. Um, and that's gonna balance it out a little bit because it was kind of crazy where you could just five to five to five to five. Um, so I'm excited. So we'll have that rules change in effect when the Naruto theme decks drop because of course that's when we're gonna get the new, um, the new rules. So that's pretty much it that I know of. Let me know in the comments if I miss anything because I, I didn't get a chance to, to like really really comb over the whole rule set um so let's look at the cards again now that we know exactly what transform and what time threshold did so the main ones here were in boom these guys so jiraiya the time threshold effect jiraiya he's gonna be uh, untap your own one of your own battlers and then if you Cross the time threshold, you get to untap multiple. So he's actually going to be really, really strong. Okay. Okay. It doesn't seem that good because it's like, oh, but it's their turn now and I don't get to attack again. But it seems like there's going to be a lot of recovery effects. And so you could swing a recovery, recovery, and both of your guys live. You play Jiraiya when you have not enough time, you stand both of them, and your opponent's forced to have a destruction spell to like get rid of them. So Jiraiya, um, I'm, I have, I'm excited. I'm, I'm expecting big things from you, Jiraiya, okay? So Naruto Uzumaki. So his one is destroy a five strength or less, and you're gonna get that effect twice? 
twice are you kidding me so that's huge um it's gonna be a blessing for decks that want to play like a more control style um and just being able to destroy things twice it's like come on come on and orochimaru also gets to destroy things twice so we're gonna see it looks like that's gonna be the balance um jiraiya with a lot of effects with recovery um you swarm up the field and then uh, Naruto and Orochimaru kind of on the other side of that, of like, let's get rid of, let's kill a lot of things as opposed to just one thing at a time. So, time threshold looking really strong right now, okay? Uh, I'm a little spooked. I'm a little spooked. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me know. So then, of course, Transform is going to be in the Hokage set. And we've got three cards with Transform here. Hashirama, Tobirama, and Minato. So Hashirama is just a beat stick. He's got... He's got plus one guarding attack and plus one toughness. So the beauty about Transform is, um, first of all, it's going to make fast cards really, really good. So um, cards like, um, what's his name? What's his name? Oh my god, Mitsuki. Mitsuki's going to be insane to Transform. So it's not like blue and green are the Transform colors, but Mitsuki's going to be insane. I expect what, Gamabunta? He's the EX card that has fast. He's a two cost EX. He's going to be insane because you play a two. If you still have time, you sacrifice the Gamabunta, you tap it to transform, and then you have is gonna go back. So basically, you can get these huge guys out um, and just get them swinging really easily. Of course, he's got so, so, so. Now that I've talked about that, oh my gosh, my, my brain is like all over the place because I'm so excited. So, Hashirama, two Guardian attacks and toughness. So, you know he's gonna get through and smash face, okay? And then we got Tobirama, who's gonna be Sentinel. So, you can just pop out a Sentinel. Um, and get that two guardian attack into. I'm always a little, I'm always a little iffy about Sentinel um, attacking with, like attacking into Sentinels, especially if it's like your last hope, because your opponent might flip something that can destroy it, something that can return it to hand. Um, so that's going to be a little scary, but definitely excited. And then Minato is um, actually crazy, because right, because we get, because you get on attack effects, which means. You're going to be able to put them into play, boom, summon, you get anybody. The red, remember, the red chosen is any person summon ability. You get to play any person summon ability. And, oh my gosh, okay. So not only is he he's destroying two guardians, he's going to get any summon abilities. And you know what my big brain, oh, debatably small brain. You know what my brain thought of? Okay, so if you choose your opponent's summon effect, or you choose your summon effect that has, hear me out, time threshold then you get to play that, and because you have to pay the full cost for transform, it's gonna be way on your opponent's side, even though you're attacking, and you're probably gonna hit the time threshold too. So time threshold looking really scary. Minato is gonna be absolute powerhouse, okay? Watch out for Minato. The other thing I like about this, just kind of offhand, is that you've got a lot of nine strength things in transform, and that's gonna help the aggressive decks beat over Boruto, which has been like, in, in the Naruto sets, Boruto is kind of like a, a thorn in people's side. Like, it's really hard to deal with. So these big guys, like, okay, you can just tap one of your small guys and get them out there and swing in into Boruto and trading or, or winning. Thumbs up. Okay, now we got to go to the small cards. We're going back to the rules manual. There's some, there's some tiny cards. There's some big cards up here, and there's some tiny cards way down here, okay? So we got the big cards. Zoom in time. Zoom in time. Okay. We got another Naruto. Oh, no, we saw this one. We saw this one. Destroy two things because of time threshold. Multi Shadow Clone Jutsu, new card. Uh, plus one EX, okay. And then all your units, um, all your battlers get plus one guarding attack. This is going to be kind of kind of really good um, given how much recovery we've started to see um, because you're going to see a lot of recovery units. You could you could spread out a bunch of recovery units, give them all plus one guarding attack, and it's going to be brutal because Sarada is absolutely brutal. And uh, I think Multi Shadow Clone is going to make like a bunch of mini Saradas. So Hashirama EX card, okay, notice that EX card. He's got fast, he's got plus one guard attack, two toughness, so he's gonna be a beast. And he swings for eight and gives anything uh, minus one. So you get a, you're gonna pop those weenies, okay, that's good, like Suigetsu. Get out of here, Suigetsu, you're not blocking my attack anymore. Um, but also importantly, he's got the toughness and he can got the eight strength. So he can drop Boruto to want to an eight, swing into him and live. So uh, we're getting more answers to Boruto. I think that's, mm, I think that's excellent. Um, I like to see it, and and Hashirama looking like he's going to be a pain to deal with, or or he's just going to be another solid answer. So, ooh, I'm so excited. Like, 
I'm so excited. It makes me so happy. It makes me so happy to see like fun new cards. Um, and Time Threshold is looking insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. So you can't really see these guys' names. I mean, it's pretty obvious who they are based on their art, unless you don't know Naruto. But um, Rin, three cost, one strength. Um, and then they've got the Guardian abilities return, just straight up return to hand. I do not like these. I'm not a fan. But given, you know, what decks they might go in, it might work out. So she's got recovery. And when she's played, it looks like she gives another battle of recovery. So, ooh, that's going to be scary. Uh, just because you're going to be able to beat in a lot harder. And like I was saying, there's a lot of recovery. And so you, you can multi-shadow clones you to give them all, give them all that double strike. Plus one guardian attack. I want to call it double strike, but it's not. Ugh. And then we got Boruto. He's another fast card. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. These, this is another Mitsuki, which makes red incredibly dangerous because you give them any time, they're just gonna be like, bah, 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 bah. but it also looks like it gains like three strength, three strength. So it swings for four, which means you know if your opponent's playing a low cost deck, it's gonna be hard to block that, or it's probably gonna live. Um, but but really, what really excites me about that fast on normal battle cards, you get to play it and then you could transform off of it. So I think that's gonna be a deck to look out for. It's definitely gonna be a deck to look out for in the channel. And we got Anko. So she's got uh, choose a battler with four strength or less, return it to the opponent's hand and time threshold. So she costs six, got decent stats. It's not a destruction, but getting rid of um, getting rid of two units back to the hand is gonna be really valuable. Sometimes returning is, is even better than destroying in this game. So look at look out for her um and then we've got Sa another sarada what has she got Ugh, i can't see so it looks like she has boom choose enemy battler oh this might be minus you know what i thought it was it says choose any battler it gains and then a red strength thing and then it's got time threshold i originally thought it would be plus strength but now that i'm thinking what red does with with minus strength in godzilla it could be a minus strength effect, and then if you get the time threshold, she could kill, if it's minus four, she could do minus four, minus four, and kill something that has eight strength, or minus four to something, minus four to another thing, kill two things. So if that's what it is, Sarada is insane, okay? Oh my gosh, okay. And then we got like a young Kakashi, and he's another fast. Oh my gosh, another fast? Another fast? Another fast on a main deck card? Yo, red is gonna be spooky. So we got another fast and then plus one guardian attack on summon. We are gonna do, that looks new to me. I, and then, and then uh, or maybe it's like draw an EX card? No, that looks new to me. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to search for that one. And then it's draw a card and then like get an EX card, I think. So that's pretty good. Summon, you get a draw a card, get an EX card. But what is that? What is that? What is that red thing? It looks new to me. It looks new to me. Choose player? Chosen opponent. Oh, is it chosen opponent? Yeah, it's cho the opponent gets to draw a card and gets an EX card when you play it. Ooh, okay, Kakashi. We might, we're gonna have to talk about that one. We're gonna have to talk about that one. But the fact that he's three strength, three cost, fast, and guardian attack plus one might be worth it. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of iffy on that. Um, it kind of probably depends on like the matchup, right? Because uh, a lot of decks. Um, sometimes in, in Naruto it doesn't matter, or in Chrono Clash in general, it doesn't matter how many cards you have in hand, because you just can't play them all. So it might not be that much of a downside to get a quick little two guardian attack in there. All right, so that's it. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm pretty sure nothing else changed. There's been talk about changing the tap symbol, but it looks like it, um, you know, it, turn it sideways. If it was already tapped, there's no further effect. So. You gotta stop abilities once stop abilities once you see the tap target, but like you you can still choose it a uh, card that's already tapped to tap. So same with the untap symbol, interestingly enough. So keep that in mind, you guys. You will not continue effects for tapping and untapping. But yeah, I don't think anything else really got changed. Let me know if I did miss something that did get changed. And that is all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. My little brief rundown, my thoughts on the cards. Now that we know the full skills, ugh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. It's almost, it's so close. It's already November 2. It's going to come out this month. And, and be excited for that, okay? 
And um, yeah, so let me know what you think. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I really appreciate it and it helps out a ton. Subscribe for more. I will, I'm not gonna promise that any Godzilla stuff is gonna come out anymore. Um, I can do some deck profiles, but it's just not that fun. You know what, I will do some just to show you guys what I mean. And if you guys haven't played Godzilla and are thinking about getting it, um, then you can see some gameplay and see if it's something that would be up your alley. That's about it for me. Keep on learning, keep on having fun. I hope to see you in another video and have a great day. Peace.